Hello everyone, I am Vivanshu Kumar and today I will be discussing a problem named Safe and Good Subsequences. This was a question of September long 2019 of Code Chef. Right, so let's start the problem. We are given a sequence a1, a2 till an and another integer k. Uh, we have to find unique subsequences of length at most k and such that there is no element repeated in that subsequences right so, let just just say we have given we were given an array 1 2 3 4 5 3 1 2 3 4 3 2 right and then we have to find how many subsequences of length k we can make which have unique elements right so 1 is unique 2 is unique 3 is unique right means like a uh, subsequence an empty subsequence is also unique right so this is also a good subsequence. So all subsequents with one elements are unique. Then one, two, one, three, one, four, and then again this one, one and this three. So one, three may come two or three times depending on the number of position of three, right? So that is also a different uh, good subsequence, right? One, two, again one, two came, right? So these are the and there can be many with starting with 2 also, right? So, 2, 3, 2, 4, then 2 and 2nd, 3, 2 and 2nd, uh, no. But see, if you see this, this is a, not a good subsequence because 2 is repeated, right? So, like that we have to make how many total good subsequences we can make, right? So basically to solve this question, uh, either you can have a name approach in which you uh, iterate and find all the subsequences from of length 1 to k at max, all subsequence you find and then you check each of the uh, subsequence if it is unique, if all elements are unique, if elements are unique, right, subsequence of let's just say this is j subsequence of length j starting at position i then i equal to 1 to n right you go through this and then if elements are unique then r plus plus right do this if elements are unique then subsequence then this then this this is for j and this is for i right so basically this if you go through this you have a lot of time complexity because this is order of n this is n and then this is a generating a subsequence is nothing but 2 raised power n right so you have a n square into 2 raised power n and then again you are iterating you will iterate at least once all over the array so you have a huge complexity to solve in a naive approach so that is not possible to pass in the normal uh, way right so for what I did is first thing I have used two three three things right first is a set now a set stores only unique elements so I can get all the unique elements given in the array unique elements and then I have uh, so if you see the code here I've used a set and a set and count right a simple array to keep a count right okay so if you see uh, yeah right a set to keep unique elements now a set can keep only unique elements and a hash map kind of thing right so basically I nothing but I kept an array of size uh, given the limits of a of i so that I can just do a of i plus plus to get uh, to increment to increment the count of a number right we were given that n is less right each a of i is less than 6000 or something we are given that right so uh, based on that i implemented use these two things first a set to get all the unique elements and a of i to get the occurrences of each of th those elements so i exactly know what are the unique elements in the array right like just say we had this array then my values will be in my set I will have 1 3 4 1 3 4 
and array of a of 1 will be equal to 1 a of 3 will be equal to 3 and a of 4 will be equal to 1 so basically i have the unique elements with how many times they are occurring right and then to calculate the total number of subsequences i have used uh, dp uh, dynamic programming now how i have used dp is first uh, first is like a single digit number i am checking so that is nothing but a, a total number of uh, numbers n only right so but if you see uh, two digit numbers so if you see two digit numbers right let's just say i put here i fixed here a right so i have to come up with how many ways i can place a number here such that this is not a so that is nothing but n minus a or how many single digit numbers i can make with which does not have a or if you say let's just say three digit number and here i fixed uh, a so then the problems uh, then the problem uh, is shortened to how many two digit numbers i can make by fixing here a uh, which does not contain a right so let's just say this was x and then x minus a right so how many two digit numbers are there which does not contain a a count let's just say this this is not a exactly this is a count right so for this so basically if you have how many numbers you can make of single digit then two digit then you can go with three digit similarly you can go with four digit right so like this manner i have used i will show you the code and then i will explain you in a much better way right so let's just go to the code right so here we have the code and then uh, just fast io then for uh, taking input n of k and here you see i have used a of 8001 maybe the limit was given 8000 that's why and then i have used a set right and then i am just uh, incrementing the values first i set each of the value to zero using mem set and then i just incremented the value and i am just inserting each of the values to my set because set will in keep only the unique elements and then I it will be easier to get right and then we'll have this uh, l is the uh, set size and then i'm just keeping a sum array because like i told here right so basically i just need to maintain how many numbers are there right with having those sum so basically what i did is i'm having a sum array so which will contain the unique elements which will can which will be of the size unique element suppose i have a b c d as the four uh, or e a b c d e right e as my five unique elements this has a count of two this has a count of three this has a count of four this has a count of five right so basically what it will be containing is how many numbers i can make you excluding uh, this uh, a right so if i exclude a how many numbers i can make so if i exclude a i can make uh, 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 2 right uh, like that i i have kept the array and then i'm updating this array i will just show you the code it will be much better and then b of l right so if you just see i'm keeping the sum of zero as a dot iterator means the a of a value right so basically how many sorry here i mentioned wrong so basically each of the sum of place will contain how many numbers i can make including this a right and in this place how many numbers i can make using a and b here i will contain a b and c so basically it will be a cumulative array maintaining all the numbers i can make uh, right with those num uh, c d and e so basically if you see here so how many numbers you, i can make using a how many numbers i can make using a and b how many numbers i can make using c how many numbers i can make using d and how many so if i just go normal way so sum of uh, zero will be nothing but how many numbers i can make with a that is nothing but only two right this is for single digit number right then sum of one will be nothing but two plus three five then sum of two will be nothing but 5 plus 4 is 9 and then sum of 3 will be nothing but uh, 9 plus 5 is 40 and then sum of 4 will be nothing but 
14 plus 2 16 so just a cumulative array right and then if I go here right so that only I'm doing here uh, some total and I'm maintaining a sum total array right and uh, then I'm just iterating over the uh, set and taking out the values adding the a values right to this sum of i minus 1 equal to sum of uh, i right uh, sum of i equal to sum of i minus 1 plus a of that value so basically a cumulative array and then just I am storing the uh, array value in another b I don't want to iterate the set again and again so I made an another array b that just contains the unique elements right so I don't have to iterate the set because set iteration is costly right it is not very simple uh, then I had sum total equal to sum of last one right uh, so basically if you see the if it is the cumulative array then the last array then the last element will give me this value then I am taking k equal to min of l and k right so basically if I say if I am having only five distinct elements right I can make at max a distinct uh, subsequence of length 5 if the k is equal to 6 still I can I can make only length equal to 5 because I have only 5 unique elements right so that will be that I am taking the minimum value of how many numbers I am having unique and what is the given k right so as to I, I have to iterate right and then I am taking answer equal to 1 this is for 0 length set right empty set 1 and then for 1 length I am just going on if n is not equal to 1 then I am adding the n value means like all single uh, placed value right 1 2 3 whatever it is single value is always unique so I am adding n here right and then I am taking p equal to 0 uh, right and then I am calculating for each uh, this k I got from here right uh, k equal to minimum of l and k I am just generating how many sub sequences I can make of length that of length 2 to k length right here if you see for length 2k this I got for length 1 and this this is for 2 2k right and for each of the length right I am just checking uh, how many different unique characters I have that is nothing but L right if that from this position how many I can make like I have only 4 unique then I can go at max up to uh, 2 if I want to make a subsequence of 3 length right I cannot go to 3 and make this so basically I am considering in ordered fashion right and then I am adding sum of j equal to uh, count of a of b plus means like this count a into previous sum right that is sum total minus sum of j if it is less than 0 uh, then I am adding mod max because like mod max what why I am adding because here the answer was supposed to be modular right so if I have 5 it does not necessarily 5 minus 6 is equal to minus 1 if I get this minus 1 then this does not necessarily means that there is no possible way this means like I uh, did here mo mod was subtracted from this right mod max was subtracted so just a modular subtraction case so if it is less than 0 then I just need to add mod max to this my mod value to this to get my answer right so that only I am doing here and then I am adding p to this and generating this sum of p of j right so basically if you uh, see this here here and then if you see this was of length 1 right this was of length equal to 1 then of length 2 when I am generating length equal uh, length equal to 2 then when I am generating sum of 0 then what I am doing is what is the total sum that is 16 16 minus 2 I am doing this because that my subsequence of length 2 should not contain a right so how many ways I can do that means like I am fixing here a and then I am checking how many ways I can generate this right so in how many ways I can generate that is 16 minus 2 so here I will have 14 so again I have 14 and then sum of 1 similarly I will go on right and then I will have here 16 minus 5 that is 11 11 into how many a count is there right so this into 2 this into 2 yeah so basically I have to 
increment uh, multiply by count also because here you fix two right how many ways you can fix a you have two ways to fix a right because you have two a here so that's why you multiply count of a here and then here you multiply you should multiply count of three sorry this should be three count of b and this this should be uh, 16 minus 4 that uh, sorry 16 minus 9 that is uh, 7 7 into count of c that is 4 right so basically you will continue like this so you can see here and using the previous value right 16 minus uh, 16 minus 9 is 7 and then similarly it will go on so that's why i'm just keeping the previous value basically you can keep a full 2d array also but to reduce my store complexity i'm just keeping the last value and discarding the previous one I'm using again the sum to store this next one you see again the sum is getting updated right because after i use this sum of 2 i don't need it again this 9 value is not required again i have the cumulative value in the next value right so sum of 3 will only depend on some uh, previous value of sum of 3 it won't depend on sum of 1 2 that's why i updated it i didn't store the previous values right so that only is the case and this goes on till i i have got all the subsequences of length k starting from any uh, sequence any point of my unique characters right and then this will give me the final answer i will just output that answer and that will be done right so it was just a case of uh, simple dynamic programming and uh, combinatorics right so hope i made myself clear if you have any doubts uh, feel free to ask me in the comment section below uh, india happy coding do subscribe to my channel channel thank you